Congratulations. Have a wonderful time tonight, Taylor. Thanks. Taylor Smith, everyone. Thank you, Taylor. <laughs> well, our time is up here in Vegas. Thanks to our co-hosts, Suzanne and Stormy. And thanks for watching the 47th Annual ACM Awards. They're just seconds away on CBS. So go ahead. <laughs> okay, listen. As much as I want to laugh, and I really did want to laugh at the Taylor Smith line, it wasn't just that the lady said it, but it was Taylor's response to it. Like, she could not believe it. Like, her ego is so big ever since Kanye took the microphone from, from her but saying Beyonce got cheated and she became a household name right after that. So she can't believe there's anybody on this planet that doesn't really know her last name. But there are a lot of people who don't know it. But I could not laugh like I wanted to because I've done that before. I used to do press junkets where I would stand on a red car because I've had like 90 lives. And <laughs> there's been so many times, so many examples of me messing up people's name in the moment. And it was just an accident. Sometimes it was a brain freeze. Sometimes it's just you're multitasking. Sometimes you're nervous. It's easy to have things go wrong. So I was on the, the red carpet for, um, I think it was um, uh, 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 Friday after next. And Anna Maria Horsford was coming down the, the carpet. Why did she, I got her on the microphone and I did her interview. And as she was about to walk away, I bellowed out, I loved you on 227. The lady was on Amen. There was another time I got a chance to meet Alfre Wooded and I called her Viola Davis. I didn't even realize I had messed up until I saw the look on her face. One time I was doing audience warm up and I had so many responsibilities. I had to do one group of audience indoors and then I had to run outdoors and do another group of audience members for the same show. It was hot, it was stressful. I had never had to do audience mem audience warm up for two audiences simultaneously on the same show in the same day. And I hollered out when the cast members came out, one at a time I was saying their names, and I said, give it up for Melissa Gilbert. It was Sarah Gilbert. So I'm saying all this to say, I couldn't even enjoy this video the way most people could because I've been there. And I, I had a PTSD flashback of all my faux pas and foibles in moments like that. So I'm going to say a prayer for this lady. She meant no harm. But I have stories like this in my upcoming book, I've Never Heard of You Either. It will be available in a bookstore near you pretty soon.